Hey friends, welcome back to the studio. So this is the last section that we'll be focusing on in based on the ESA database tutorial, which is creating watches. So creating a watcher basically means that we are we want to create a reaction to a specific change in the database. So in our case, we want to react whenever the number of routines are more than maybe three, we can give feedback to the user. Maybe we say uh, you have you have you have exceeded your number of routines or you have excessive routines to do any tasks to do. And if it's less than three or maybe less than five, we say that you're right on track. So watches are just a way of like allowing you to react to different changes in the database. There are other many examples, but that's the example that we're going to use for our project. So for that, for us to do that, we're going to create a function that does that. So we say create watcher. And inside this function, we're going to create a query by saying query. And since we're focusing on routines, we focus on the routine collection. So exceed tasks is equal to well, not exceed, let's just say get tasks is equals to widget dot isa dot routines dot where dot build. So we've created a function. Um, something that's missing here where widgets routine so after that we're going to come here and call stream list routines query changed is equals to get tasks dot watch initial return true. Query changed dot listen. So we are listening for a specific change that we want to set now, right now. So we say a routine if this routines dot length because it comes in form of a list is let's say for example is greater than five or let's say four or let's say three so that we can have fewer routines to create so that we want to see that change that listening else so this is these are the places where we're going to give a form of feedback, right? So we can come here and create a string called a warning. Or we say string feedback. And then we come down here and say if it's greater than three, we say feedback set state. Feedback is equals to you have more than three routines to do or three tasks sounds much better to do. And else you can tell the user, else means that it's three and below, we can see if feedback is equal to you are right on track. Right. Mm. So that's the feedback we want to give. So we want it to listen. If the routines increase to more than three, it should tell us this. If it's less, it should change to this. So we need to find a place where we'll set this feedback in form of a text. So to do that, we'll go up 
and set a text widget inside the this column of ours so we can put it after the search bar and say text feedback first and then we can like make it a little bit style it a little bit to make it look unique style text style Want style. Font style. Put italic. Okay. All right. And then we can give it also a padding. And then we can give it a color, but we can set it on top because we want it to change. If it's more than three, we can give like a red warning. If it's less than three, we can give it a green warning. So we just come here and add a material color. Called feedback color. So initially we set it to blue we come here and pass it in our text color I can remove this so we've set it so we also since uh, we're able to set the feedback string the text itself we can also set the color so if you have more than three tasks to do we can set it to the color of red red to show that it's a warning and if they're right on track we just set it as feedback color So basically that's how, um, so this is the main function that actually you, where you set the quarter, you tell it what you want to, uh, what, which routine you want to focus on, and then you set it uh, to listen. Then you can give your conditions here. There are many ways to create watchers, but ours, you just wanted to listen to the routine, the, inform the, the content or the data that's in the routine. And then we're able to check the length. We just want to see if it's more than three, then we should, we should be keep, we're not on track with our tasks because we're supposed to finish them and maybe delete and maybe start afresh again, finish all our tasks and then like we can clear all and add new ones. But if we're trying to show that if a user has more than three, they, it's exceeding, it's more than what they should be having. But if it's less, if it's three or less, they're right on track. So those are manageable tasks to have. Great. So we have created the function, but where do you use it, this function? So we, we want to use it in the place where there's always a listening of change of state. And this is what the future builder usually uses and we're going to add it somewhere here. So depending on what you want to watch, you can always customize and change uh, this function. But basically this is what you use to perform your listening and be able to react to a change that you want to listen to in the database. So let's go to our app and see if we're right on track. If you remember the previous um, lesson involved clearing all routines, so we need to create new ones. So let's do that. So come here, write home. Okay, 
So initially it just says you're right on track because the, the, the routines are zero. So if it's three or less, it's okay. So let's start creating our routines. Home, washing, uh, because of the hot restart. No, because we cleared all, <laughs> all that all using by handling transactions in the previous lesson. That's why we don't have our routines. So we have home. If you go back, we're still right on track. All right. So we go to work, emails. Great. We're still right on track. Then we go back to school. We are right on track. Then we add home. As you can see, it has changed because we have more than three tasks here. So it was watching and checking the routine collection and seeing that we have more than three, it wants the user you have more than three tasks to do. Uh, but if we try and delete this and go back, right, you're able to load, we get our routines back and it changes to you're right on track because now we have three routines. So basically those, that's what that's a function of watchers. You can create different types of multiple watchers if you want. And that's about it on the ESA database tutorial. We have covered a majority of the stuff that we needed to look at so see you on the next video on where we'll be maybe looking at something else that's different <laughs>